Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here, welcome to today's video. So today's video is entitled Leaving Windows is So Good. And it is so good in 2024. As you know, I run both MX Linux and Linux Mint. Windows is becoming more and more of a wasteland full of toxicity and spyware and farming your data off your Linux is becoming more and more of a paradise and safe haven for those avid computer users out there in the world. Now, as you know, I changed over to MX Linux in 2023, November to be precise. And we're now well into June of 2024. And I can report that um, my MX Linux box, which is what you're looking at here, running on an e-waste PC, which I paid 25 quid for off of eBay uh, back in 2023, <coughs> is absolutely stunning. And it's got me so excited and I'm just loving this. And I would heartily recommend it to any of you out there who have got an older PC, so it's not latest, greatest, cutting edge. You may have Windows 10 on it and be deciding, do I upgrade to 11? Will 11 even run on my PC? Is all my PC resources going to be taken up by Windows 11? If you want to make the hop over onto MX Linux, I can 100,000% heartily recommend it. Why am I so excited? Well, because not only is MX Linux super kind to the resources in your PC, it's super safe, it's ridiculously fast, it's stable, it's reliable, the updates are done when you want to do them and it doesn't matter whether there's a one update or a hundred updates, they all come down, install smoothly, reboot and you're done. No shenanigans, on this specific box, I am running the troublesome NVIDIA graphics card. It's an older GTX 1050 Ti 4 gig. It's a fantastic card. <clears throat> and every time there's either kernel or NVIDIA driver updates, they come down, they install as smooth as you like and reboot. But why am I so excited? Well, because all of the games that I'm now playing, I've spent time over the last few days heavily modding, getting ready and really loving and enjoying the pants out of them. And there's a real mixture of main daily games that I play that I'm spending a lot of time in. The first one is Farm Simulator 15. Why 15, Ebs? Why not 22? Everybody knows the current version is 22. Because I have modded and texture packed and scripted 15. So it's actually more enjoyable than 22 and so so much lighter than 22 it's perfect for my use case scenario might not be perfect for yours but just to give you a very quick sneak preview it looks gorgeous i've got full contract in it's just fantastic i've got a myriad of scripts and mods installed so we can do all sorts of shenanigans with it um, and yes, I am the old classic farmer. I prefer personally the old classic machinery. You might prefer more up-to-date um, machinery. But if we want to do contracts, we can request assignments. We can select the type of assignment that we want. Go ahead and request it. And it will offer us an amount of money. 138000 to go through and plough field 11. Anyway, um, so that's my beautiful Farm Simulator 15 complete with custom HUD user interface. Um, I've even bought in the old PDA from 13. and We've got that in and scripted and all the stuff is available for it. We can page through it, check out the latest prices, etc, etc. It's just fantastic, people. It really is amazing. I'm loving it to bits. I hope you can hear my excitement and my enthusiasm. You know, and I have an awful lot of people say to me, should I really consider 
switching to Linux and dumping Windows altogether, my advice is hell yes, especially if you can. So Farm Simulator for me personally is an offline and I'm playing it so much. Online games, well, I've got my Star Wars The Old Republic. <clears throat> All these run very Windows-esque. Um, and, you know, the similarity between Linux and Windows is uncanny. And you don't need a computer science degree in order to make the transition. What do you need? Well, you need compatible hardware, hence why my original comment was if you've got older hardware that's not going to run Windows 11 or is going to be absolutely killed by Windows 11 if you can use it. Um, and the second thing is, is that compatibility with most games now is at such a wonderful place that it's a very Windows-esque point and click affair and this is further been strengthened by steam so if you're using steam and you've got not only the standard proton um, options from steam you've also got glorious egg rolls proton bottles as well as you can see now i am recording the whole pc and this is the american starforge server so it may well Mm, not run as good as what it does when I play it. I am doing a 60 frames per second video. But as I say, everything I throw at this e-waste PC, and it really is an e-waste PC, is just an absolute delight to play. And it really doesn't matter what we're doing. Now, uh, there is usually a little bit of lag because this is a Starforge American server and I'm in the UK um, but honestly, I can't tell you how amazingly good this game is. So much so that between all of the games, I'm running out of real life. <laughs> Just saying. So my whole channel is built around recommending really, really from the heart that if you want to make the move over to Linux from Windows... Please don't get bogged down in, well, I don't like the interface, Meh, it won't run this, mm, it might not be compatible with that. All you've got to do to check that it's compatible with your PC is download the ISO and burn it to a USB thumb drive. Then boot your computer from said USB thumb drive so you've not changed a thing. And then you can check that all your drivers are working. It's super blistering fast, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. The other game that I'm playing quite a lot of is Domination. Uh, and this is a Hearts of Iron for, for dipshits like me. Uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm just loving it to bits. So if you do like your Hearts of Iron 4 type strategy type games uh, but you're struggling to get to grips with it then have a look at Domination because uh, that's a wonderfully addictive game. Uh, I'm also heavily involved in Star Trek timelines. This originally is a mobile game so it's going to run beautifully on your Linux PC. Absolutely beautiful. Um, via Proton, it's very lightweight, very fast, and again, oddly addictive. So as you can see, I've just crafted my second ship. So I've now got two ships, uh, and I tend to just use this as a daily login. You can see the resources. As a pure free-to-play player, I'm starting to rack back and stack up. And the final game actually uh, is a bit of an accident. So I was going to major heavily on American Truck Simulator. Um, but I've actually ended up doing Euro Truck uh, Simulator 2 with Pro Mods. Uh, and just loving and enjoying the pants out of it. And again, really, really compatible and playable on the MX Linux. So they, you've got a whole array of games right there you want something newer more up-to-date more modern well there's plenty of options for those two 
Um, but I'm just so excited that everything is silky smooth. And I really, really hope I can be um, a bit of a shove, a bit of a nudge, a bit of a push in the right direction to help you on your use case scenario dump windows and come over to Linux with confidence. Now you can get bogged down in the amount of different distros, um, different flavours, different back ends, different front ends. Please don't. Please head for MX Linux and try MX Linux right out the box. You will be amazed. Now don't forget I'm recording the whole PC here. I'm not just recording the game. So it's incredibly taxing on the hardware. Um, and yeah, absolutely, absolutely everything is beautiful. It runs with a silky smoothness. And for such a low spec computer in 2024, I mean, 8 gigs of RAM, 4 gigabyte graphics card, SATA SSD. You know, I mean, what more really do you want, really? It's just fantastic. I can't sing its praises enough. Uh, and I know you can't hear the audio very well because I've got it coming out of the speakers, but that's for a specific reason. So, <clears throat> uh, there you go, everybody. That's why I'm so excited. Um, if any of you need any help, if you've got any questions, please post them underneath the video. But please, please, please don't get stuck in the toxic wasteland that it is Windows. Move over to Paradise, which is desktop Linux in 2024. And once you've made the leap from Windows to Linux, you'll wonder how on earth you ever survive without it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.